Chicago. I'm Dick McFinnigan with WILD 13. Today's top story, buy one get dead. An elderly man is being arraigned on Thursday for allegedly pulling a gun on a Walmart employee on the West Monroe Street Walmart for not honoring a buy one get one coupon for Splendid. The man, 68 year old Kirk Lefty Holmschlager, had to be subdued with a taser which subsequently jump-started his pacemaker, giving him Holmschlager superhuman strength for a short time. The whole ordeal finally came to a horrific end when the customer behind him in line hit Holmschlager over the head with her brand new Paula Deen cookware. Beef and mean. A Hickory Hills woman is being charged with assault after she allegedly hit her mother in the face with a burrito. The incident occurred at the Taco Bell in the Hill Creek Shopping Center just after noon today. The woman, 27-year-old Natalie Crumholt, allegedly got upset with her mother after a conversation about the direction her life is heading. The altercation also reportedly took place in front of her three infant children. Her mother was seemingly unharmed, but she was pretty angry about the beef and burrito all over her new sequin blouse. And in national news, lawmakers today banned the state of Idaho as a whole because when turned on its side, it represents a gun. Police in Cook County now tell us it could take months before they make arrests in an alleged gang rape involving a mentally challenged girl. Officers said the 18-year-old victim told them she was attacked last week in a home along West Roosevelt Road in Chicago. Investigators have identified four suspects. The Chicago police chief initially said arrests could happen this week, but he said now they'll have to wait months for DNA results to come back. And an update from an earlier story, Mike Ditka still does not have a Twitter account. The Lincoln Park Zoo just upgraded all of its animal cages. That's right, new metal for Lincoln Park. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brad Pitt. Wherever I go, people tell me about the different clones there are. Different clones of Chanel. This is a Chanel number five. Wherever I go, people ask me that about Chanel number five. My luck, my fate, and my fortune. Chanel number five. Cologne. WILD's own Trisha Blair is live at South Suburban College with some more info on the judge killings. Trisha? Well, Dick, there are no suspects this time, but the police have been keeping awfully quiet about the grisly murder that took place here at the local community college. I'm waiting from Chicago Police Lieutenant Adam Williams to get a statement. The judge has been in the back of people's minds here at Chicago for over a year, and earlier this morning, he struck again. I'm Trisha Blair reporting live. And thank you, Trisha. Now over to Carl Heather with the weather. Carl? Well, thanks a lot, Dick. As you probably felt out there on your morning commute, there was, it was pretty cold out. There was some snow coming around. Well, guess what? It's still out there. If anybody's watching this on maybe your lunch break, whatever, go to Wendy's. No, I can't promote that. Whatever. Forget I said that. Anyway, Canada's sending out this big old cold front, so you're going to feel a lot of crap coming down on you. It's going to last for the rest of the night. But guess what? Tomorrow morning, oh, out comes the sun. So we're from the Dakotas and over at California, you know, Washington, Oregon, all those hipsters up in Portland. They're sending a big old warm front this way. It must be all that pot, just a big old cloud of hot smoke. And it's coming, and it's warming us up. And now, your seven-day forecast. So we've got Sunday morning. You're going to church. All is reverent. All is well. It's still pretty chilly. Monday, we're starting to warm up a little bit. It's getting hot in here, you know? And then just Tuesday, Tuesday, still heating up. We're prepping the oven. We're getting the wings ready, putting them on the tray. Jack it off. Jack it off. They want me to take Jack, jacket it off. Off. Jack it off. Jack it off. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday, we are uh, we're we're sticking the buns in the oven. Bun in the oven. It's uh, prepped at 365. No, I'm kidding. It's not 365 degrees. It's gonna be like maybe like 40. But you know, for Chicago, Jesus. Anyway, Wednesday. Wednesday is a son of a bitch. We're going back down to freezing. 
and you're just going to hate Wednesday. You already hate Wednesday? Screw it, Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Just, you know, take a shot. You're at work. Who cares? You get over it. It's Thursday. What? I don't care. Thursday. Friday. 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 It's the last day of the week. We're getting warm again. We're getting ready to party. And, yeah, that's Friday. Sunny, partly cloudy. Hailstorm, whatever. And then Saturday. <clears throat> Saturday's just going to be a mellow day, you know. <sighs> Saturday. <laughs> you, you all right? <laughs> Are you? Just keep going. Carl, you okay? Just, just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Saturday, it's going to be back up to 40. Cloudy. That's you, Dick. And that's it for today's program. Thanks for taking a ride on the wild side. Wow, wow.